Details emerged tonight about the deadly shooting spree on Memorial Day. Today, Montgomery County announced the felony charges it plans to pursue against Franklin County Deputy Jonathan Agee. They include attempted capital murder of a law enforcement officer, aggravated malicious wounding, use of a firearm, and eluding police. Now, there are also new questions about a phone call Franklin County Sheriff Yule Hunt made to the Salem Police Department about 15 minutes before Jennifer Agee's murder. Part of a statement Hunt released last night reads, quote, I called Salem police at 1118 a.m. to let them know what was occurring and asked to speak to the on-duty supervisor, believing that Mr. Agee was on his way to his ex-wife's house in Salem. We have gotten a copy of that phone call that Sheriff Hunt made to Salem Dispatch. Let's take a listen. Salem police, Hickerson. Yeah, this is Sheriff Hunt in Franklin County. Uh, you got a shift supervisor handy or, or could one give me a call? Um, sure, I can have one give you a call. What was that? All right. This is Sheriff Hunt in Franklin County. My number is uh, 5404. And what was your last name? Hunt, H-U-N-T. I'm Sheriff of Franklin County. Okay. I will have Thank him you. call you. Thank you, sir. Many people have taken to Facebook asking for the resignation of Sheriff Hunt due to his actions on Monday. Ten on your side's Ashley Roberts investigates what challenges that group would face should they go through with petitioning for Hunt's removal. Franklin County Sheriff Yule Hunt is under fire for not issuing a be on the lookout for Deputy Jonathan Agee. This is video of Sheriff Hunt in March when he announced his plan to run for re-election. His term ends December 31st, but some are trying to get him out early. This Facebook page calling for his resignation has more than 1,600 members. There's also this petition to get him removed from office. Lorraine Simmons lives in Franklin County and says she can no longer trust Hunt to do his job. He made a bad decision. We did some checking on the process involved if people want him removed. Here's what we found. According to Virginia Code, after receiving a petition, the circuit court may remove any elected person from office in the court's jurisdiction. In Franklin County, 1,545 registered voters would need to sign the petition. A spokeswoman with the Virginia Board of Elections says removing someone from office is rare. A Roanoke attorney echoes that statement, adding it's like impeaching the president. Yeah, I think if uh, measures had been taken, it probably would have saved that young lady's life. We also found Larry Robertson in Franklin County. He doesn't agree with Sheriff Hunt's decision, but says it doesn't discredit him as a sheriff. You've been a uh, decent uh, guy with uh, Franklin County, and I, I mean, I wouldn't hold it. Uh, I wouldn't take that vengeance out on him. While Robertson thinks voters should wait to speak until the election, hundreds are already taking measures to make sure they're heard loud and clear now. In Franklin County, Ashley Roberts, WSLS 10, on your side. We spoke with a Virginia group called the Gloucester 40 that tried removing four county supervisors from office and was unsuccessful. The spokesman for that group tells us the case lasted about three years and cost around $60,000.